Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're here for another great eShop deals video. And I gotta tell you, this is a big one. We have a lot of games to look at. Now, the big publishers are gone, but between now and Boxing Day, there is a ton of great indie games that are on sale and not just a little bit on sale. These are massive sales. You can pick up some really great games for easily under $5 right now. Now, just to let you know, I did publish another eShop video about three days ago and some of the deals in that video are still going on today. So if you really want a full list of all the great deals, I would strongly recommend you consult that video as well. I will mention most of the games as we go through them, but we won't go into details into the games that were mentioned in the other video that came out, like I said, just three days ago. So anyway, I'll leave the link to the video up top. Click on it after if you want to get an idea of some of the other games that are on sale. Now don't forget, as you watch the video, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So the first game on our list is the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series. Pretty much the whole series is massively on sale, coming out at $7.99 for each of the first three installments. Uh, I would say the third is easily the best of the three because it's the most complete. At $7.99, if you were going to pick up just one, I would pick up Naruto Shippuden, the third one. Uh, of course, this is an anime-inspired, uh, basically, beat-em-up. It's important that if you do not know what Naruto is, you probably want to stay away from this one because this is really a fan-directed uh, game. Also, I left it off of last week's list just because they sometimes come out with a triple pack for the first three, and last time it was at only $20. So this deal is a little bit weaker than when that was happening. However, if you're interested in getting like only one installment, I can see the point of picking up one of these. Like I said, I would go for the third one, but the first and second are on sale too. If you were maybe missing those, having already invested in the others. And just before we move on, as I said, I would mention quickly some of the games in last week's video. Right off the top, I see right here, Guilty Gear, Accent Core XX, awesome fighting game, however, very deep and very complex. And also we have the wonderful 101 that I would definitely pick up. It's a great, great uh, 3D action game. So the first game I want to look at is an awesome brawler pack that's being offered right now. It's called the Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawl Brawler Pack. Now these are old NES era titles, but they are some great beat em up brawlers. Like just for the first part of this series, like the first nine titles, the $20 is already worth it, worth it because they're pretty much sold at almost $350 each, even on sale. So you have Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, Double Dragon 3, Renegade, Super Dodgeball, River City Ransom, Crash and the Boys Street Challenge. Already for those games, $20 would be an awesome deal. Basically, they've thrown in the Kunio Kun series, which is a was a Famicom-only released series, and basically it has some great entries. So if you want to try out something new with real, real retro games, this for $20 is an awesome pack to pick up. Even if you play the North American titles only, it's already worth it. Now, the next game that I want to look at is a retro-inspired 2D shooter. Basically, it's Metalloid Origins. This is a... it's a heavily Mega Man-inspired title, and if anyone has been watching the channel for a while, I'm a huge Mega Man fan. However, this does have its own flair and its own style with at least three selectable characters. Normally at $7, it's already a great game to pick up. It's not very long, however, so don't expect to be playing this for weeks and weeks on end. However, at $3.49, this makes this a definite pickup. You know, at its $7 price, I would have said it's an okay pickup. At 50% off, it becomes a, an essential title for anyone who likes 2D retro platformers. Now, the next title is very hard to describe, I would say, it is Contra meets a Metroidvania style. And it's called Fury Unleashed. It's another great retro inspired, spy, uh, inspired title. However, this time the graphics are really upped. I would say it's close to PS1 graphics. Uh, it's a great 2D shoot 'em up. However, just a warning, it is very difficult. If you're looking for an easy laid back shooter, this is not your game. This is if you want a challenge. If you want a challenge, pick this up. You won't be disappointed. And at 50% off for only $10, it's a, another great title to pick up because of its sale price. Now, the next game on this list is actually a new release for the Switch. It actually just released at the end of last week, and that is Death Tales. Now, Death Tales is a 2D action platformer set with a really gothic style. 
And I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna look at the visuals, it looks amazing. I've been playing this game for the last few days and I'm actually working on a full review for the channel. So spoilers, I'm actually really liking this game. It's not gonna be a uh, replacement, let's say for a Cuphead or whatnot, but it has its own retro flair that really, really works with it. I love this game and basically for $6 rather than 10, I, I paid it full price because I bought it on the release day and I'm not feeling gypped in any way. So if I could have gotten it for 40% off for only six bucks rather than 10, I would have definitely picked this one up. It is an easier, 2D platformer. So if you're looking for a laid back, easier title, once you get the basic mechanics of the comboing in the, in the game, the game becomes actually much, much easier. Now the next game is an awesome pickup because it is 70% off and that is Butcher. This is a retro 2D shooter. It's very retro. What I mean is the graphics fidelity is basically very, very 8-bitty. Uh, even I would say Sega Master System almost. And this basically though is a awesome, shooter it's set very violent and very gory grim but nonetheless it's a great 2d shooter and for only three dollars this is a great pickup basically if you're looking right now like i said for awesome deals like almost at five bucks and under this is another definite one that i would pick up it's going to offer you great hours of gameplay you just have to be a person who likes the retro inspired titles so the next game on this list has actually made already one or two entries, and that is Val Ferris. If you're looking for a solid 2D shooter with a higher graphic fidelity, because this one, although it's retro inspired, the graphics are really, really amazing with some 3D effects thrown in. That's why also it's been sold for $12.49, but it is 50% off. And even at $25, this title was worth it. So at $12.49, how can I not suggest it to you? It is a great, 2D shooter and you will not regret it as long as you like the heavy metal type setting it has because the music in this game is just as great as the graphics. Now actually Slain is right here on the list but we're going to be coming back to it in a few seconds because right now do not buy Slain for $4.99. There's a pack lower that has Slain included in it and is cheaper than this, which is why we're gonna come back to it in a few seconds. So if anyone's watching the video, I didn't forget about Slain, it's gonna be here in about 30 seconds to a minute. So the next game that we're gonna look on on our list is Odalis. Now Odalis is another retro themed uh, platformer. It's themed very heavily, it looks like Castlevania. It looks like the old Castlevanias, but it has some Metroidvania elements thrown in. It's not a full-blown Metroidvania, but it's sort of like an in-between. If ever there would have been a game that would have bridged the gap between the old Castlevanias and let's say Symphony of the Night, it would have probably looked something like Odalis does. And normally at $12, I would have said there's better options on the eShop, but at $3.99 because it's 75% off, this becomes a really, really good pickup. Like if you were looking for a retro inspired Castlevania-esque game, I would definitely pick up Odalis. It's a great playthrough. So the next game on the list is another retro inspired 2D platformer. I know there's a lot on the list this week, but that's because it is very indie heavy this week with the deals because most of the general publishers have pulled back because we're sort of in between that Black Friday and Boxing Day period. So next on the list, I would have Onikin. And Onikin at 249 is a great pickup. It's a very retro inspired, basically action platformer. It's, I would say, almost mixing a little bit of the Ninja Gaiden style with more of a beat-em-up. Like, if Ninja Gaiden had more of a beat-em-up style, it would look something like Onikin. And basically, it's a great game to pick up. And at only $2.50, if you want a game that will kill a few hours and give you some really, really solid gameplay, go with Onikin. It's a great pickup. And now we get to probably my top pick for this week. Like if you were going to pick up one retro game, I would pick up the next one. And that is Kyo Blaster. Kyo Blaster is very reminiscent of the Parodia series back in the NES or if more recently Cuphead. If you've played Cuphead, think about the flying levels and imagine a game that is totally like from A to Z the flying levels although much easier. This is not Cuphead level of difficulty, but it is the basic principle. It's basically funny characters basically shooting it through space in a 2D platform. It is a great, 
game to pick up. Uh, it, it's very hard to explain why it's good. It's just funny with great visuals and great gameplay. And basically, if you loved Cuphead and you liked those flying levels, you'll love this game. However, like I said, don't expect it to be as hard. And at only $1.99 because it's 80% off. This is why this is my one of my top picks for this week. So next I said we were getting back to Slain, and for some odd reason, this bundle isn't appearing in the Great Deals section, but if you go to your search and you search for Horror Bundle, you'll come up with the Horror Bundle Volume 1 at only $4.56, which has Slain in it, plus two extra games. So when I said don't pick up Slain for $4.99, it's because basically it's included in this pack here for $4.56, plus two other games. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the two other games are. I, I looked at them and I don't know these games and I found very little information about them online, but it doesn't really matter because your slain on its own was worth it for $4.99 and you're getting it 40 cents less plus two extra games. And who knows, those two extra games could actually turn out to be pretty decent games. So if you're looking at picking up slain, which is a great 2D action platformer, but more of a melee style. Once again, heavy metal music and whatnot. Slain is an awesome game. At $4.99, I was going to recommend it, but when I saw this bundle, I'm like, hey, you got to go for this one. Now, the last game that we're going to look at today is another one of those oddly sort of secret deals. If you search for DBZ, because once again, this bundle isn't in the Great Deals section. If you search for DBZ right now, you have Dragon Ball Z Fighters, the Fighter Edition for only $15.19. Now, I've talked about Dragon Ball Z Fighters before on the channel, but the reason why this week this is a definite bundle, bundle you're going to want to pick up is because it's the Fighters Edition. This is normally $95 because it actually comes with a bunch of downloadable characters. So if you if I was recommending Dragon Ball Z Fighters when it was $15 just for the normal version, at $15.19, basically you get the full game, but you also get Android 21 automatically unlocked. By the way, normally you have to play through the whole story mode, which a lot of people just don't want to do. But you also get Bardock, Broly, Zamasu, Vegito, Goku, Base Goku basically, Base Vegeta, Android 17 and Cooler automatically unlocked. Like normally this was like $35 of extra content. It is and it's included for 19 cents more than the base game was just a week or two ago. This is a great time to pick up this pack. If you don't have Dragon Ball Z Fighters, jump on this occasion. And I have no idea why it's not appearing in the Great Deals section, but it should be because 84% off, I would buy this if I didn't already have the game and pretty much all these characters already unlocked. So as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to check out the video that came out three days ago if you want more uh, suggestions, especially on the 2D fighters because there's a lot of great 2D fighters that are out right now and they're really heavily on sale. So if you want to get into a new 2D fighting game, it's really the time. So that was pretty much it, however, for today's list. So as usual, I really hope you liked all this content. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.